Subworld. 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 Plant Savvy is here, and I am repotting the Monstera Adansonii. You know, I got my stakes right here. You know, my wooden planks, and I'm about to give it something to grow up. Um, as you may have known, I am finding the backs to my plants, which are right here. As you can see, this is the back of the plant. This is what I was telling you about the little nodes that grow and may turn into aerial roots right there on my previous video. Sometimes you can see a trail of little aerial roots on the the uh, the petal here. To keep this here uh, stake, this here wood piece, I got two pieces of wood right here and I'm just going to join them together by simply screwing them right there in this here area so that it'll have enough space in between the two to stay up and sturdy. Get in there, you know, and I've got a pot that's big enough to put this right inside. So I'm putting this right inside of here, putting the put in the soil, putting the back of the plant right here so it can grow up. Voila! For stability purposes, I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add another screw right at the bottom here because it still kind of moves around a little bit. I just want it to be sturdy. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it again. So I'm doing everything that I need to do. I'm putting it in a bigger pot because I'm leaving it in here. I'm gonna leave it in here as long as I possibly can. Hopefully like a year. <laughs> a year and I don't have to repot it again unless I get a pest outbreak or something like that, you know? But other than that, we are gonna set this baby up for success. And that baby, <laughs> we got a sturdy, this baby is sturdy, you got it. Also, what we got here is a bottom watering pot. So you put the water in here and the roots, they, go down and take a drink from right here bottom watering automatically watering the plant all right we have soil right here in the back we're going to get this here wooden stake planted and secure with putting soil right here in the back you know uh the, the plant won't go back here but it is a smaller leaf it is a smaller plant and the roots don't need all of this space in here. So I'm just using half of this just for support for the plant to get it up, get it nice. And we're gonna fill the rest of this pot up with soil in the front. And it's gonna be an easy pot because I'm just going to set the, the Adansonii right here. I'm gonna set that baby right there. Again, the back of the plant going right against the wood plank. Look at that, look at that. And it stands on its own stability. Hello. We're just going to get these uh, mosquito bits all around. Gotta keep those gnats out. Plant this baby right there. If I put enough soil in here, if it'll hold it, without using any kind of additional bands to hold it onto the stake that we have here. Just positioning it and holding it right there. It's all about experimenting. You know, I love doing different experiments and trying things. I don't care if I win or lose with it. You know, at least I can say I tried my hand at this, but I'm pretty, pretty, happy about this very very happy how it's turning out already this here is a the same soil you know chunky mix tropical mix this is actually looking good and i have another uh let me fix my glasses i got another adansonii that is growing in a different pot uh as well as one propagating in water. Propagation Nation, shout out to you all. Let me try and show you. 
but you see it is to the back. The back of the plant is on the plant. All right, tongue twister. Okay, so I am going to water this baby and, you know, prop it up, see what it does. Stay tuned for the updates. Boom.